heroes and zeros. And we start with a hero from California, a teenager named Haley Morosino. And she was in her house when a mama bear and two cubs started walking across the back wall there next to their patio. And her four barking dogs, the family's four barking dogs, went chasing up to the bear. So the teenager had to get involved. The mother bear reached a huge bear reached out and got one of the dogs in its jaws. So she went over and started punching at and pushing the bear and apparently pushed the bear back over the wall. That's recommended? I don't know what the recommendation would be. You know, you, you have a dog. I do have Big, a dog. you've got a dog. Boy, if I... If, if <laughs> you I, shove a grizzly? This is a brown bear. Yeah, this is a big bear, too. Um, mm. I would... I would, too. I would shove the grizzly. You wouldn't. <laughs> I would. <laughs> you lie. If I saw the grizzly I on the wall like would. that. That's right. I would. That's I'd take right. my chances. Now, listen. Mm -hmm. I can't say if the bear squared up on me. Mm -hmm. Right in front of me, stood up with my dog with in cubs. its mouth. Yeah, dog in mouth. You know how they with feel cubs. about cubs. Yeah, cubs. That'd be a hard. With a little bit of the teenager, along with a little bit of the audio of the actual pushing of the bear, here, here she is describing what happened. We made direct eye contact. I mean, we were in each other's faces. <laughs> the dog that the, the bear grabbed, she's the baby. I have to protect the baby. I sprint towards her, and in that split second, I decide to push the bear like it was nothing, apparently. And when I push the bear, she falls back. And that's when she, my the dog she grabbed runs away, and I pick up my other dog, and I scram. That's the I hero. Like, Scoot ab. <laughs> the round. The cubs are like, she hit Big Jake. Uh, yeah. I mean, wow. Wow. She hit Mama. She did. She did. Did she get scratched, the young girl? No injuries mm -hmm. that I saw. Incredible. In the report, yeah. And the dog's good. Dog is fine. Yeah. Dog is no worse for wear. And I think the bears are okay, too. They yeah. hustle off. Now, see, I think I would do that for my dog, again, unless it's squared up. Mm -hmm. You say you would yours. But I don't think your dog or my dog would ever do anything for us. No, you've said that. Mm -hmm. I, I don't either. I uh, think, and actually, I, the other morning, kind of embarrassing, I uh, my TV remote had fallen off the other side of the bed. Mm -hmm. So instead mm -hmm. of like getting up dun, and walking dun, around dun. to it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, it hard, was early. How can I do this yeah. without feet on the floor? <laughs> oh, yeah. Hard time sitting all of yeah. these bigs. <laughs> So I, uh, I could have come over and got it for you. I almost called you. Uh, <laughs> you should. Is your dog trained to fetch? <laughs> no, I wish. Mm -hmm. uh, but instead of like getting up like a normal person, I did that thing where I just like lay myself across, mm -hmm. and I'm kind of dangling. <laughs> well, I went too top heavy over the side and yeah. fell out of bed. Oh, but you don't dangle. Yeah. And then I was laying on the floor, and I thought, what is my, what, what did my dog do? Yeah. So I started going, uh, uh -huh, yeah. uh, help, oh, help, <laughs> yes. Are you testing? Yeah, test the testing dog. the dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, she was in the living room, and I heard her get up, and I said, my God, she's going to come in here uh -huh. and actually check on me, mm -hmm. which she did. Mm -hmm. She came in, she looked at me, and I was, uh, help, help, <laughs> help. And uh, she just walked away. She just left. She just left. I feel like you're describing almost the exact scene of that bear being pushed off the back <laughs> yeah. of the... That's what it was. Yeah, I was the bear. <laughs> what just <laughs> happened? <laughs> and dogs walk away. Yeah. <laughs> and I laid there for... And then I just got quiet and laid there to see if she'd come back. And I heard her jump back on the couch and just go back to sleep. So I got up and five minutes later, I walk out there. She's just sleep. sleeping upside down. Doesn't care. I, I like you can be mad at her. I, <laughs> well, I like that you tested her like that. Yeah. Well, it's more of a practice. Yeah, yeah it's like a... Fire drill. A dry run. <laughs> or can you, is there no way to test her? I mean, maybe when it's the real thing, she'll know it and she'll really get involved. She'll hear you, think the real she real. you think she knows the difference she, between I, real and play acting? Maybe. Maybe she can discern. Well, I mean, I hit the ground with a thud. I'm surprised <laughs> the neighbor didn't mm -hmm. call. <laughs> right. There's you, plaster in our kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> the little maintenance? What is yeah. that? <laughs> I don't know if it's normal, but the popcorn ceiling is popped. <laughs> it's not wet. There's nothing wet there. Nothing's leaking. There's plaster in my coffee. Yeah. <laughs> I leaned too far over. <laughs> I I've been there. I know yeah. exactly what you're, you're talking about. You're back like a turtle. <laughs> I, I never get out of the bed to do something like that. I always like to oh, yeah. reach down. Well, that's it. Know. It had fallen and then it kind of bounced. I had to dangle more and I'm reaching. No, I and then exactly. I, I, I was done. I know mm. exactly what you what you mean there. Well, well, the only answer is to get another remote. And that's, that's right. <laughs> Velcro it to the Keep nightstand. Spared. Well, my wife and I, you know, we just got that new TV. Nice. That we put on, on the wall in the living room. We like it very much. And within a day, she had ordered a substitute remote control so that we both have one. We can't. We <laughs> Smart. don't. We never go. We have dueling remotes at all times. That's dangerous, Why? though, isn't it? 
No, it has not been. It's really worked out. My parents did that once. They, uh, what my parents did, they taught us this. Years ago, they lost the remote control. So my mom went and bought one of the generic remotes. Mm-hmm. Well, then Remember they, the days of the universal right, remote? The universal remote. They yeah. still have those. They still have them. I yeah. have one, yeah. So she bought the universal remote. And after that, about two days later, my dad found the original. So they had dueling remotes from then on, and it was wonderful. How yeah. is it wonderful? Well, my wife's able to control from her, you know, her chaise, and I'm down about eight feet from her on yes. my end of the sofa, and I can control from there. But you're watching the same screen. Yeah, but if we want to change it, like sometimes I can't find one. I've sat on it or something. or you know, It, gets it fell away. like biggies. It, it fell something. <laughs> it's and a there's, dilemma. There's always another, and then we can make a move without having to say, toss me the remote. Yeah, you know? I love it. My wife's bad. I don't like this. She just like, well put up the guide and go so fast down it. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And so I, I <laughs> Mr. It. Holland's opus was on. <laughs> Edited for television, Oh, honey. it's a finishing scene. She does that. She's just like, click, 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 click. I'm like, stop, stop. I have to wait and really. God, the control issues in this in. house. Right. Soak it in. If you only had more TVs, you could watch a different one. Well, I, but we like to be in the same room. Of course. We like to be together. <laughs> but you don't like the same things. No, we don't. I see nothing wrong with this. Thank you. We don't like the same thing. Is this going to be your model, Biggie? Is this going to be your relationship model. Oh, God, I hope so. What do they call it? Relationship goals? Yeah. I'll I'll model it for you. I'll continue that. I love the idea of getting a second remote just in case. Here's the zero. (laughs) We have a guy named Mark Williams, 51 years old. He's a a self-described metal detector enthusiast. He lives in England, and he came upon a World War II German incendiary bomb, genuine bomb, that he tried to sell on eBay. But it was a bomb, bomb, and it was still, if, if it had been sent through the mail or someone had got it, could have exploded. So they had to get to him and say, no, 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 you can't sell this. And the bomb squad had to come out and take it from him. Ready to use. He, well, it was ready to use. It really was. And he said, I never dreamed that it could be something like that. And he's found many interesting things in his 25 years of metal detecting. I saw a metal detector on the beach three weeks ago. Usually will. Uh, yeah, out there doing it's it. It's the same guy in yes, every beach. Yes, yes. They arrested him on a uh, suspicion of possessing an explosive substance before he was able to tell them the story mm-hmm. of what he found. I didn't know. I found it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I, that, I did not. I'm not a bomb maker. <laughs> I was simply metal detective. <laughs> They thought he, and then they realized What's all this, dude? this is a this is a seven five year old bomb that could still have been used. It seems like all the metal detectors on all the beaches around the world, everything's been found. Doesn't it? What's seem? left? Wouldn't you think? He just They're still it. finding like Civil War balls, right? Yes, and, yes. and bullets. Yeah. And, How about that? I bet. Yes, I uh, guess now you're also just hoping somebody left something behind. Something mm-hmm. washes yeah. up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that you're you know somebody left behind a diamond earring, yeah. something like but that. Would a, a would a metal detector find that? They would just it would just detect the ring right yeah not, we not, just not yeah the not the be metal. no but you could always hope mm-hmm. is it mostly keys you think people lose i or, used to hear bottle caps. coins i used to hear but but now there's well there's beer caps that could be out there i suppose oh, but yeah. on the beach i think uh coins you know uh bottle caps i mean your standard beach yeah just a regular i mean i think you can go that was your, never the site of a war Right. Like England. I think you, listen, mm-hmm. on Myrtle, mm. I watch them go up and down Myrtle, and I'm like, I don't think you're going to find anything out there. Mostly you're just finding people's <laughs> dignity. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> oh, oh, look, they lost their dignity. <laughs> 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 What's yeah, this? <laughs> you don't find too much out oh, there. Oh, look, a local's virginity. Right. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to find anything from the Merrimack. There. No, unfortunately you don't. <laughs> Hero, this is from uh, Beach as well in Jacksonville. A Jacksonville. Which one? This is well. It's actually not a bit. I'm sorry. It's a river in Jacksonville. Which one? Uh, uh, this is the Mandarin Point, St. John's River, Florida. In Fl- yes, Jacksonville, Florida. Yeah, sorry. Jacksonville, Florida. Yes. Uh, a Jacksonville, Florida family grateful to be alive after a brave seven-year-old Chase Poust is his name swam for an hour after his father and sister were washed away by the current while they were fishing the other day. Apparently, the dad was fishing. The younger seven-year-old Chase and his four-year-old sister like to get into the water while he's fishing, and the current took them away. And the dad jumped in and stayed with the daughter, and the son, who is seven, swam against the current for an hour onto the banks (laughs) of the river, crawled up to a house, knocked on the door, and said, my dad and sister are out there. And they called in the... An hour. An hour. uh, The police came and got him. Dang. This is the seven-year-old. The current was so strong 
that my sister, she usually hangs out at the back of the boat and she let go. So I, so I let go of the boat and I grabbed her and then I was stuck. He said he was so tired after uh, swimming for such a long time, he could not even get to his feet to get to a house, which I he saw nearby. Isn't that amazing? This is the dad. I told them both I loved them because I wasn't sure what was going to happen. And I tried to stick with her as long as I could, and both of them, really. I wore myself out, and she drifted away from me. Emotional. He thought he might never see his children again, and they were they were in separate places. By the way, the mom, the dad, and the daughter. When this the, is not about. too different from the plot from Ordinary People, Ooh. two brothers in a boat. Ooh, that's mm. right. That's mm-hmm. very similar to Ordinary People. You're right. And this heavy stuff. Yeah, very much so. This seven year old. Here you go, Chase. Chase. Paust is the guy who saved him. How did he swim? Breaststroke? Butterfly? A little bit of both. He said he did all he could. He did everything he could (laughs) to get up there. An hour against a current. That's exhausting. Mm -hmm. Couldn't do it. That would be very, very difficult to do. Uh, A zero. We're doing heroes and zeros here. The zero is Lawrence Franklin King of Florida. His last name is also Florida. He's Lawrence Franklin King, Florida. He's a Florida man named Florida. Yes. (laughs) And he went on a ridiculous crime spree just before the weekend. He first went into a seafood restaurant and stole every white claw from the fridge. He, that's what he was after. And he got, well, if you're going to steal, <laughs> get the best. After that, he broke into a barber shop. To drink? No, yes, I guess. He hauled them with him and then threw some into a retention pond because he was carrying too many. I guess. This isn't beer. <laughs> Cans pretty. <laughs> Content sucks. Ah, girls drink. <laughs> Fruity. They wound up in a retention pond. <laughs> I could have helped them with that. <laughs> I know. Them out there. I know that. After that, he went to a barber shop a few blocks away and stole a set of clippers. Then a second barber shop nearby and stole five more sets of clippers. What's going on? What odd items to steal? Hmm, to resell? Maybe that's what he was. Maybe. Or maybe he was just Maybe he's just a groomer. Maybe high. Them. Once he had enough of those, he broke into a carpet store and then a cafe and took $800 in cash. Well, now you're talking. Now he's got That something. we can uh, relate to. Mm-hmm. Then he broke into a vet's office and then a separate business called Little Cat Rescue, where he stole a bunch of pain medications meant for animals. Ooh. So he was going to wash that down with the white claw, which he had thrown into the <laughs> retention pond. And then sh- party on the back of the retention pond? Yeah. And then shave the animals, groom them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and clip them. Yeah. <laughs> Finally, he went home around 5.30 in the morning, but before he was done, he stole his neighbor's ring camera off the door. They were alerted as soon as that happened. Called ah, the cops. And that's got his he... face right there in the camera. Yeah, and then the cops retraced all of his steps. Lawrence Franklin King, Florida, from Florida, is now a Florida man and has now going to do some jail time. I salute that you. Yeah, that was... That's a busy day. Not 100% right. Hero from Manatee County, Michigan... A woman is being called a hero after saving three kids from drowning near the First Street Beach Pier. A lot of this going on. We've had a couple of stories now about saving someone from drowning. Alyssa DeWitt says, I don't know how I had the strength, but three kids seem to be being washed away by the current. And so she went down, even though she is seven months pregnant, laid very much like Biggie on his bed <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, yeah. on the pier, Reached reaching down to them and pulled them out of the water. Now that's impressive. Super strength. Lord. Yes, super strength. She said, I ran to the edge of the pier. They couldn't keep their heads above water. They were being dragged down and away. I called 911 immediately. I didn't think they could hear me, that I couldn't hear them. The best I could do was scream into the phone that we needed help, that kids were drowning. So she put her phone down, laid on the side of the pier, on, on her, her belly. On her belly. Her pregnant belly. Just as Biggie did. To get his mm-hmm. reverse turtle, right? He, <laughs> remote, he went reverse turtle. Help <laughs> to get that remote. She tells it in her own words. I am so thankful that I was where I was at because I don't know that they would have gotten out alive if I had not seen them. I ran to the edge of the pier and they couldn't even keep their heads above the water at that point. The best I could do was just kind of scream into the phone that I needed help. Their kids drowning. Put my phone down with. 911 on. I laid down over the side of the pier. I pulled every single one of them out up over that pier wall. I don't know how I did it, but I did. I truly believe that I was meant to come here. She went to the doctor the next day, and the doctor said, Baby is fine. And so everything's okay with her. That's a hero right there. Remarkable. It is. It is to have that kind of upper body strength, too. You always say people lifting cars. Stop doing that. I'm sorry. That's what you take away from (laughs) this. Upper body strength. (laughs) 
<laughs> I was doing some shoulder presses, and I thought mm. this is this is exactly the cut. This is the reason I do that. This yes. is the reason I do those shoulder yes. presses. Yeah, but you never got not all heroes presses. wear capes. <laughs> That's right. If I'm passing by a river where I see children in the surf, mm-hmm. I hang can, on. Let me do some push-ups. I can. Let <laughs> me warm up. Let me do these monkey jumps or whatever it was you were doing the other day. <laughs> Froggers. Jumps. Those are Froggers. called froggers. They're not called monkey jumps. That's it. <laughs> now sometimes I do a gorilla squat row. <laughs> What's that? Well, that's where. Show me. Don't can... don't fall for it. <laughs> do it. <laughs> Well, that's with weights. With weights, and you're going to... Yeah. With weights. Yeah. Okay. Your knuckles dragging knuckles the ground. Dragging the ground. That's right. Gorilla squat row. Gorilla squat row. And, yeah. uh, and you pay for this. And then... <laughs> Handsomely. When do you pound your chest? At the end. <laughs> Not allowed to till the end. Can you pound anyone else's Get chest? Not. Get on till the end. No, they frown on that now. No, I'm not going. Even uh, with the social distancing rules, relax. We yeah, we're still not allowed to do that. A zero, a man from New York, Anthony Ragusa, the big ragu. The big ragu. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> accused of, you might like this guy, Big. He's accused of collecting disability benefits while at the same time becoming a world champion bodybuilder. He's done. <laughs> no. No, no. I do not approve. Since 2013. That's both of your dreams. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Scamming money and looking good. <laughs> Prosecutors say that he filed for disability in 2013. He fell while working as an electrician, suffered some injuries that made it difficult for him to put on shoes or walk, he said, for even 15 minutes at a time. So he has been collecting disability since 2013, but as of 2017, he was competing in bodybuilding competitions and continues to to this day. How'd they catch him? They just now have caught him because he put up a victory social on social media. media. Uh, really? He put on his Instagram. I'm shocked he went that long that they didn't have him followed or no something. No kidding. Yeah. How many years? He's a, he's a member of the International Federation of Bodybuilding and Fitness, and he's posting some photos on his social media. Mm. And yeah, they are you him. on their email list, Kelly? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> there's an opening. I understand there's been some dry scooping questions. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't hear about dry scooping. Dave, I, there's a new phenomenon going around called dry scooping. That could kill you. You scoop protein powder. I think it was pre-workout or post-workout powder, and you scoop it all in your mouth dry mm. at one time. and one Without moment, mixing it. In don't, the water. don't mix it into water. And one woman said it gave her a heart attack. She went off to her job as an exotic dancer and had a mild heart attack. But we had several people call us that they've done it and with no ill effects. Mm-hmm. That you got to do the right amount, apparently. What's in what, what, proteins in there? I, I don't know what that means. I, you know, I don't know what the powder really is. Now I do it. It was pre workout they were doing. Is that what they were doing? Because I have a my pre workout is. Yeah, my, what is your pre workout? It's a Celsius. It's that Celsius drink, which I'm having trouble finding now. What? Yeah, I couldn't get it at the big Maybe the FDA room. finally got hold of it. <laughs> <laughs> get this off the shelves. It's still out there? I didn't, yeah, yeah, we maybe, got it off. Maybe you talking about it so much they finally listened. Uh, maybe what's going on here? <laughs> maybe the, someone peeled off the label underneath it and it says made in Chernobyl. <laughs> Fauci's talking about this well, now. I'll tell you what, it gave me a nice boost. I'll tell you that. I bet it did. Had a lot of caffeine. And my, my post-workout, you know, I used to do a lot of... Uh, where I would buy the protein powder and mix it with either a low-fat yogurt or an almond milk, but mm-hmm. I don't do that as much as I used to. Is it, how important is a post-workout shake, whatever? Don't they always say that's like one of the most important things? But it helps you rebuild. Yeah. Really? I guess. So I'm wondering if all of it's not really true, unless you're really a bodybuilder like this guy is. I, I don't know. Well, most of those powders and things, isn't it, if you're truly mm-hmm. somebody who's bodybuilding, yeah. it helps. But if it's like you're just going to the gym. To do your gorilla hoist. I think it just yeah. adds uh, calories. <laughs> and those are called gorilla squat rows. Sorry. <laughs> and I find froggers even more difficult, if I'm being honest with you. I can't. I can't. Show me both of them a again. Frog yeah, can you, What's the difference? Don't oh, you're they look doing similar. Because uh, one's. Oh no, a gorilla squat row is is this with weights. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but froggers. Yeah, frogger. There's an actual leap involved. Dig them. <laughs> Dig them. <laughs> Dig them. <laughs> I see. Okay. Okay. No, it's but both. Do but it's, it's kind of the same but premise. It, you start with the same body posture. That's correct. Yeah, it is. That's correct. And you're squatting in both. Why don't you feel my glutes before you make fun of it? <laughs> Why don't somebody come around here and feel my glutes? Set them on my desk. I'll feel them later. Because <laughs> it's been amazing. And a hero, finally, a sheriff deputy in Virginia, last week hailed a hero, and Dave just said it, he single-handedly lifted an overturned car off of a, a woman's head as her child Lord. screamed. Yes, her child screamed nearby. She, the incident occurred, Gloucester County, Virginia. Do you know it? Been to Gloucester County. Excuse me. <laughs> 
<laughs> He's frogging and dogging some frog. <laughs> See, this is what happens when you don't drink the powder beforehand. Oh, my God. The carbon stuff. This happened a couple of weeks ago, but the video just surfaced. The driver was laying underneath the vehicle after a, a, an accident. She turned over. Her head was pinned under the sunroof. Gloucester Ugh. County Sheriff's Office statement says the deputy goes out, sees a child who's also out of the car, crying, and single-handedly lifts the vehicle off the woman's head. Now, that's very, very impressive. We have, is. We have the audio. You can tell when he does it. It's flipped upside down. Is he under it? <laughs> Gloucester, it's entrapment. <laughs> she can't breathe. Come here, buddy. That's the Come kid. Here. Here he goes. Oh, I'm trying to get out. Can you slide any, ma'am? Your head clear? She got out of there. Her head was clear at that point. Somebody, wow. a bystander took video of it. Maximum point. effort. 100%. Think he's frogging and dogging like you? Yes, I do. I bet he's not. I bet he is. I bet he can do frog. I'm betting he lifts cars. He don't need to frog a dog. Uh, he don't need to gorilla. That's why I frog. That's why I frog so that later when I see a car overturned on your head, well, not your head. 